Hey Charlene, nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you too. So Charlene, who are you and what do you do? I'm a 17 year old aspiring engineer and I work with Enable Toronto. So what we do is we 3D print prosthetics for those in need and we're actually the first and only student-led group that does this in Canada. So what happens is in some developing countries it's very difficult to get a hold of prosthetics that fit and aren't super expensive. So for example, if somebody doesn't have an arm, what we're able to do is 3D print them a prosthetic arm for them to use. 3D printing a whole arm? How do you even do that? So it first starts with meeting with our recipient, whether that's virtually or in person. And what we do is we take measurements of their arm or hand or whatever they're looking for. And the next step is trying to get an understanding of what sort of functions they're looking for to use with these prosthetics. So then the next step would be designing this virtually. So what happens is we use a software online where we're able to design and see what this prosthetic would look like before we actually print it. So then what we do after we've created um, that prosthetic virtually and we've gathered all of our information is we're going to be able to actually take it to the 3D printers. And what we do is we print out all of these individual separate pieces and once we have all of these pieces, we're able to print out little bolts and we use wires and we're able to actually assemble it. So these little 3D printed pieces come together to form an actual concrete prosthetic that somebody can use. Awesome, what a cool process. But what exactly is a prosthetic or a mobility device? Yeah, so a mobility device is any device that's gonna be able to help somebody who's impaired improve their functions and improve um, their movement in general. So an example of that could be um, like a wheelchair or in Nabel's case, it could be a prosthetic. What's the coolest thing about prosthetics that everyone should know? I think the coolest thing would probably be that technology is advancing so much to the point where we're actually able to 3D print these mobility devices. And what's so important about teams like Enable Toronto is that we're able to use our own skills in order to help other people. That's so cool. What do you hope to do in your career? I really enjoy social justice activism, and I love that when I'm programming or coding, I'm able to combine my love for math and puzzle solving with that social justice activism. When did you get interested in software engineering? Uh, it all started in grade eight when my teacher encouraged me to check out this coding website. And when I went to it, I loved that I was able to be creative and create stuff online through using math and problem solving. And then when I went into high school, I took lots of courses that related to technology, and I found that it was definitely something that I wanted to do for my career. So, Charlene, how does STEAM inspire you? I love that STEAM is so versatile, and we can apply it in so many different ways of our lives. So with Enable, we're able to help other people. When we're coding, we're able to create so many things online. There's so many different ways that we're able to actually use engineering and STEAM. And I like that it fits my own life and what I enjoy doing. What's the coolest thing that you've done on your way to becoming a software engineer? In one of my classes, we actually had a robotics battle where we each created uh, different robots and we put them all on this little table and the last robot standing was the one that won. And I won, FYI. <laughs> What is some advice you'd give to young people like me who are interested in STEAM? Um, so my one piece of advice would be that even though you may feel discouraged at times or like you can't accomplish something, you have to keep working hard. In a lot of my classes, I was the only girl, but I still kept working hard and I knew that STEAM was something that I enjoyed doing. So what, even when I was the only girl in my class, I kept working at it and I kept learning the things that I loved learning. Thanks for speaking with us today, Charlene. It was wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. It was great talking with you. And remember, keep working hard and you can accomplish anything. Bye. Bye.